Hi, this is Habiba and welcome to another exciting segment of Viva's Canadian Journey. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time, please don't forget to subscribe. It's very easy to do. Just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon. For the month of March, I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to take a break from talking about IELTS, PMPs, NOC, all that. It's not every time that we have to be serious. So this month, you're in for a treat. I'm going to be taking you around Nova Scotia, Halifax, Dartmouth, where I live, and just showing you life in um, Nova Scotia, you know. And today in particular, I'm going grocery shopping. So you're going to come with me grocery shopping to the store just to get an idea of you know how people grocery shop here to get an idea of the prices of things if I were you I'll try not to convert the prices to your home country especially to Naira but um, yeah so enjoy and let's get started there is a name that has the power to heal the sick there is a name that has the power to raise the dead there is a name that has the power to move mountains. There is a name so, that has the um, like I said, please try not to convert the prices to your home currency, especially to Naira. Um, a lot of people thinking of moving to um, Nova Scotia or Halifax have asked me to, you know, recommend some good areas. This area where we stay, around where we stay, is called Portland, the Portland area. So this is, um, is this Portland Road or Portland Street. So this is the area. Um, we're going to one of the um, supermarkets around the corner. So um, a lot of the places, you're going to see a bus in front. A lot of the um, residential areas are on bus routes. So, you know, if you're just moving in and you're... A bit worried about whether or not um, you're gonna be able to drive immediately the bus system here is um, is very very reliable um, depending on where you live there's also like a ferry the ferry that you know goes on the um, ocean or is it the sea so some people use the ferry on um, on a regular basis but a lot of a lot of the residential areas even the business areas you know the bus routes are very very um, very reliable so don't worry about it if you're worried that you're not going to start driving soon don't worry you'll be fine um, so this is Dartmouth by the way this is not Halifax so this is Dartmouth um, this area again is about um, it's called Portland um, Portland Street um, and this is one of the um, most uh, popular supermarkets around Um, I think a couple of months ago, in the, there was a, should I say, a new rule put in place for shopping malls in Canada. You need to bring your own shopping bag. If, um, you know, obviously everybody is thinking um, environment friendly now. I mean, the stores have bags, shopping bags, but you need to pay for them. That, this just started a couple of months ago. So you're best bringing your own bag so you can and it's good for the environment you know so you can recycle so um have please have that at the back of your mind but if you don't have them you can always buy buy in the store um so this is me um you remember in the last video i talked a lot about you know stocking up on vegetables and fruits i'm a big veggie fan i think i'm team fit fan <laughs> also i tell myself so um, I like my salad. And one of the good things I like about the salad here is that they have this mini salad packs that are already chopped. You know, so your lettuce is chopped, your tomatoes have been chopped and diced. You get your salad cream. Um, if you want cheese in it or bacon in it or carrots, different um, different flavors. So the truth is, you're gonna be really really spoiled for choice. And this pack I got is the Caesar salad um, pack. So some cheese, some a lot of lettuce, some chicken, some bacon, and it's uh, six dollars. So I mean, you can always buy the vegetables individually and make them yourself, but 
sometimes it's nice to buy the um, I'm getting some avocados two for three dollars um, I like me I like my fruits I like my vegetables um, my daughter loves um, apples and bananas and blueberries and you know they're high in antioxidants so that's that's very good I'm coming to get some plantain we have some at home but I'm just going to top up we love plantain in my house <laughs> we love beans and plantain and as you can see the plantain here you you, you weigh it but plantain is available you find it in the African store in the Asian store in the majority of the supermarkets plantain is available bananas I have some bananas at home um, this is my favorite section guys fruit and vegetables my favorite section I mentioned sweet peppers in my last video I love some sweet I didn't use to but after that my talk with the doctor I love some sweet peppers so I'm gonna get me and I'm gonna eat that we're, we're gonna eat that I'm gonna eat them as snacks <laughs> oh what we do for vitamin C I'm gonna eat them as snacks. so um, you're gonna get everything here the only thing you want, um, you're not gonna probably get here is like yam but you get it in the African store you get your onions if you can see that cassava sweet potatoes irish potatoes i didn't know sweet potatoes were high in vitamin c till i got here so we consume a lot of sweet potatoes at home um so a lot of sweet potatoes i'm heading for a pack the bag those are irish potatoes my daughter likes irish potatoes You'll be spoiled for choice when it comes to food. Don't worry about it. You'll really be spoiled for choice. Some cherry tomatoes. Um, you'll be spoiled for choice. A lot of people have asked me about um, bread. <laughs> How the bread is here. So let's go to the bread section. Um, loads of bread rolls. I'm not really, I don't really eat a lot of bread. So like I said, I'm trying to do to fit fam, so I try and stay away from the you know, bread. But there's a lot here. Um, you can see the price one ninety nine. Oh, yeah, that's actually one dollar fifty for white sliced bread. The same for the wheat and brown bread, one dollar fifty. Um, there's dozens of choices, guys. Dozens of choices. And uh, this one is baked as cloth, so I guess it's fresh. Um, I don't do I don't do much of this. I try to avoid it as much as possible. Um, so you can see it, loads of bread, loads of options. Um, my husband and my daughter like this particular brand of bread. It's called I think it's called brioche. It's extremely sweet. Um, I think it's about three dollars, but is if you live in Abuja and you like to mix bread you're gonna like this bread it's very soft it's very you know you can just squash it and put everything <laughs> in your mouth all at once it's so delicious you just can eat three or four at a go um there's a lot of meat produce pork beef minced meat again you're gonna be spoiled for choice not a problem um chicken um, what else? Chicken, turkey, sausages, all you know, um, pork chops, steak, plenty of them, plenty. You're just gonna be spoiled for choice. Um, so don't worry, don't worry about food. I think what you need to worry about more is budgeting, so you don't, <laughs> you don't um, buy what you don't need because there's gonna be a lot in the store, and then there's gonna be a temptation to just, you know. Um, these are, um, should I say, flavored pork or flavored beef. So they've been spiced and marinated for you. So all you have to do is go home and pop them in the oven. Kind of makes life easy, you know, or easier. Um, sometimes you don't want to mar marinate from scratch. You don't have time to marinate from scratch. So you can just pick it up and um, go home and you just put it in the oven. Loads of sausages. Um, uh, what these sausages have also been pre, pre flavored, so you're gonna meet a lot of maple, 
um, flavored sausages, a lot of spicy flavored sausages, just oven ready. Um, so loads of meat, loads of um, loads of meat, loads of chicken, um, loads of chicken wings. A pack of chicken wings is about ten dollars. We usually buy a lot of this. I love my chicken wings, and it has about thirty pieces in it. Um, I just marinate it, pop it in the oven. Loads of um, processed meats, um, pork ribs, that kind of stuff. If you're into that kind of stuff, um, food is not an issue. Food is not whatever your choice, whatever your taste. If, even if you're vegetarian or vegan, there's a large option for vegetarian. I didn't even know that vegetarians and people who are vegans have like a large variety of food. I thought it was going to be very, very limited. But coming here, there are even some restaurants that cater to just vegetarians and vegans. I was really surprised. Um, we're in the dairy section. We take three different types of milk in the house. I take almond milk. My husband takes um, the coffee creamer. He says that that's the milk that is closest to Nigerian milk, you know, the powdered milk. Not all stores sell powdered milk. Um, so when we first came here, my husband was very fussy with the milk. That was with all this water milk. We want watery milk. We want this powdered milk. My daughter, on the other hand, settled for this one. I think this is the closest to the two percent whole milk. I think is the closest to um, powdered milk. It's liquid. It's not powdered, but I think it's the closest. Uh, my husband disagrees. He has his own the coffee creamer which is really thick and sweet he says that's the closest to peak or dano um, some stores have um, some grocery stores you can buy other things like um, electronics or um, house you know, house stuff kitchen utensils so it depends on the grocery shop you go to this one is quite big so it has just showing you because quite a number of people have also asked me do I should I come with my pot should I come and like this except to have loads of space I don't think you, sh you need to <laughs> um, everything is here and there are different prices to suit um, to suit different pockets I think that's the fantastic that's the amazing thing okay so if your budget is high or low there are different you know the different products to suit different pockets so don't worry and um, don't worry about it um except you have one of those really big cooking pots uh you know maybe you have a large family or something then you can bring it i honestly i, I didn't bring any but then there's the three of us for now um i got distracted with this coffee maker um, for $29.99 so that would be about $35 with tax everything dies um, you need to add tax on it the only thing you shouldn't add earlier uh, you don't add tax on anything that don't get taxed um, it's normal food stuff you know like groceries but when you go out to a restaurant you will get taxed because that's considered a luxury even a restaurant is considered a luxury uh, but I would sleep over that coffee maker and then I might come back and get it but I love me some coffee this store also has um, they sell um, some clothes I want to show you some um, the thermal way you know I was talking about it last year um, last on my last video so um, trying to get to the children's section so I can show you some thermals I hope I'm gonna be able to see it but just to give you an idea as well, as you can see, um, you can see some short skirts for kids. They've started selling um, spring and summer stuff. Winter boots, I know I told you this is the best time to buy them to be on sale. The original price was $36, now it's 12, it 12 or $17. So um, just to buttress what I spoke about last week, this is the time to buy winter um, winter gear winter is almost over when march so winter stuff are now half price or less okay so this is this is the best time to buy them when the season is over um, where am i going i'm trying to look for the um, 
time before the formal Okay, I mentioned fleece lined last time. I don't know if you can see. So, this is a fleece lined uh, pair of trousers for kids. Um, it's also on sale because you know, winter is nearly over. I don't know if you can see the inside of the material. So, it's not cotton, it's kind of like fleecy, you know. So, it's, uh, it's really warm when your child wears it, or if you get the adult one when you wear it, it's gonna be pretty warm. Um, so, that, that's fleece lined. Spring is coming, raining season, so a lot of winter boots. Easter is coming, so a lot of Easter eggs, Easter bunny. Um, capitalist society, so you know, as whichever occasion is coming, they're ready. <laughs> they're ready. But um, people with children that have asked me about diapers, about you know, um, don't worry about it. There's loads, loads and loads. Um, some a nice lady contacted me the other day asking me about baby food so um i hope she's watching this there's a lot of baby food we're gonna be again sport for choice there's a lot of it i remember when my daughter was you know she was just transitioning from breast milk to um baby cereal to cereal in nigeria you know the uh, we were quite limited with the choices and the options but you're gonna be i mean there's there's loads of them there's loads and um trying to calculate i was trying to calculate it to naira it's it's obviously it's much cheaper here especially these the um these brands that they sell back home obviously it's not cheaper here because they make them here so um don't worry about that loads and loads of options this is aisle is just an aisle for baby food oh, quite empty <laughs> um yes diapers loads of it that's not going to be an issue at all plenty 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 um toiletries lotions body wash not an issue at all um, not an issue So again, loads of variety. This is the um, let's say cold section where if you get yogurt, butter, cream, um, loads of options, loads of variety. Um, I want to pick some yogurt up for my daughter. It has to be Paw Patrol. Um, yes, and I hope it has Sky <laughs> as one of as one of the bottles. Um, we're also big consumers of yogurt, so you know, smoothie. Just pop the fruits inside and blend. And have yourself a nice smoothie. So, um, I'm nearly done. Loads of juice. Um, I think juice have too much sugar, so I don't take that much juice. But for the soda drinkers, Pepsi, Coke. Lots lots of options guys lots of options like i said for me the problem is not the availability of food it's the just making sure you are on a budget so you don't get carried away and just keep picking picking you know just make sure um you make a grocery budget monthly or bi-weekly or however much you be, you're gonna be shopping this is the um should i say the soda aisle the sugary drink aisle like as i like to call it loads of loads of drinks coke there's loads of coke <laughs> loads of coca-cola loads of fanta uh loads of cereal a lot of people have asked me uh, the african shops actually sell uh maltina and amstel the big, I think I've, we've seen it as well, the big Walmart and other grocery stores, big ones sell uh, the Maltina as well, ginger beer, all those things. Yes, for those asking about, you know, cutlery and kitchen sets and kitchen utensils, plenty available, plenty available. This is the crock pot. 
so not a normal okay slow put up hmm, interesting for the price house ornaments cutlery cutlery sets different prices different styles different grades it's up to you it's up to what you can afford it's really up to what you like but it's available it's available this is the home section home section again more plates cups cutlery the whole set this is a, a 12 piece dinner set I'm getting that for a friend who currently self-isolating and they're gonna move into their apartment soon plenty of items many of colors it really is up to you but they're available me done i'm just gonna pay for this and then we'll be on our way home i hope you really enjoyed it and i hope you found it a bit you know helpful like i said for this month we're gonna have some fun it's not all the time we're gonna talk about noc and ielts and you know federal express entry however if you have any questions if you still have any questions or you know any something you want me to clarify in that regard please send me your questions or your comments and i'll you know try and respond as soon as possible but i hope you had fun watching this video and for those coming to nova scotia keep those questions coming please don't forget to subscribe to like to comment and until next time do take care Viva!